You know what guys, it's Matthew Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Matthew Reviews. Well today we'll be having a look at DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda 3 in preparation for the studio's latest feature film, The Boss Baby. Kung Fu Panda 3 was directed by Alessandro Carloni and Jennifer U. Nelson and the film was released back in January of last year. Now you're probably wondering why am I reviewing uh, Kung Fu Panda 3 instead of 1 or 2 and that is because I've seen both 1 and 2 previously but I did not get to see 3 until just recently and I said hey while I'm watching it might as well make it a review. So here we are. Plus, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's my show, so, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of the first two films, I was actually a big fan of them, and I found them surprisingly full of good comedy, action, and fantastic storyline and character development. So, how did the third film stack up? Well, let's break this down to our five categories of animation success, starting with the characters. So, in terms of characters, all the main characters from throughout the series are back. You have Poe, Shifu, The Furious Five, Ugwe, etc. All of them are just as entertaining as before with some interesting new characters. First of all, the main villain of the film, Kai, actually feels like a threat throughout the film, and he's very menacing. Uh, Poe in this film actually meets up with his biological father, uh, Lee, and Lee is a very fun, loving panda and carries with him a very charming nature, along with a strong love for his son and his wife, who, spoiler alert, uh, for Kung Fu Panda 2, uh, was revealed to have been killed in the last film by Lord Shen. Now, Lee and Poe have great chemistry uh, in this movie, along with a very, very touching scene uh, when discussing Poe's mother, which, I'll be honest, steals the show. It is the best scene in the film, and I would go, I'm would go. i probably going to refer to it later on in the review, but it's just that good. It's really good. Now, Poe's adopted father, Mr. Ping, who's a goose, uh, actually gets jealous seeing Poe bond so much with his biological dad. But, but at the end of the film, he comes full circle and it makes for a fantastic character progression for a mostly comedy-based character. And the same can also be said for Poe as he's trying to find out his identity in this film. And once again, his journey comes full circle and it is a really great progression. Now, in terms of voice acting, everyone does a great job. Each actor does a fantastic job knowing when it is appropriate to be over the top and funny and when it is time to be a little more serious and somber. Jack Black and Brian Cranston both do a great job at this as a respect. They both know how to play up the fun of the pandas rolling down a hill while also having an incredibly touching and well-acted scene when discussing Poe's late mother, which I was referring to earlier. Uh, J.K. Simmons, uh, who plays Kai, does a great job and he sounds very tough and threatening with that deep voice that he has. Uh, and this is certainly the exact opposite of a performance and film in general compared to the last film I reviewed that Simmons was in. <coughs> Rock Talk. <coughs> also was a fun... Also, as a fun side note, Wayne Knight, or as most of you know, Newman from Seinfeld, has a small role in this film, uh, which, I mean, it's nothing incredible, but I love Newman. So, you know, it's cool to see him. Now, the only nitpick I have, actually, in terms of voiceover, uh, or I guess more so sound editing and mixing, would be at one point, uh, a panda, a baby panda does have an actor performing the role, and then she laughs, and it is clearly like a stock laugh, and I, I don't know, some so some stock sounds really take me out of the moment. It's just, it's just a really weird, like, it's okay, like, sometimes when you hear, like, the, um, when you hear the Wilhelm scream and it's like, oh, I know what that is, but it's someone screaming. It makes sense. Sometimes when you hear like ones that have been overused over and over again, besides the Wilhelm, I think that's a little separate. You just like, eh. and this one was like clearly stock. It was, it didn't met, blend well with the film at all. Um, it was very blatant that it was stock and it was very blatant. It wasn't the original actor. It was, it was just very poorly edited in, in my opinion. Uh, now, uh, next, let's look at the story. So, here's a quick rundown. So, after all these months or years or... I don't know. It's not really specific. But after all this time training, Poe was finally ready to take his place as the Dragon Warrior and become the teacher of the Jade Palace. The only problem is Poe sucks at it. So, as this new threat of Kai and his army of Jade Masters he has absorbed Chi from to do his bidding, Poe's original father, Lee, finds his son and takes him back to his village of remaining pandas to learn the ways of chi and what it takes to be a real panda. Uh, this uh, this all leads to Poe realizing how to be a good teacher and realizes that he is not just a teacher or a student or a son. He realizes he is, it is what all of those things make up of him that makes him whole. So, as a whole, the story is pretty typical for a sequel, and it does a good job of what it is supposed to do. It hits the comedic points, it hits the drama points, and the action scenes are done very nicely. Maybe not as good as the second films, 
but they are still very good. If anything, the only real negatives I can find in the film are that there is a bit of a plot hole in that later in the film a wounded tigress has to find Poe and just randomly shows up to the hidden village of pandas. It's not really explained how she finds them, but it's a nitpick. You're not a big deal. But not so much of a nitpick, but for kind of more of a concern I have for the film franchise as a whole is that Kung Fu Panda is slated to have six chapters in his story. Six. Now, the third one ended in such a perfect way. I don't see how they can make a fourth, let alone fifth and sixth. Now, if they plan to take a different approach and make Poe train a new set of warriors years and years after the events of 1, 2, and 3, then maybe the series has some tracks in. Will they go that route? I don't know. But what I do know is if they want it to end at 3, that'd be perfect. If they want to keep going, I think they need a different angle. Now, let's talk about the animation. It is a gorgeous job done by DreamWorks. This film is gorgeous and is very lovely to look at especially when they go into the spirit realm and see just how well the colors pop off the screen it's like you're looking at a comic book not to mention that the 2d scenes are done extremely well as well uh, also the backgrounds are lovely to look at and complement the film extremely well finally all the action scenes are done picture perfect and they flow extremely well and are fast paced intense and even funny when they take the time to be Finally, let's talk about the score, as there are no songs sung in the film by the characters themselves. So, the score is such a fitting backdrop to the setting of the film, and always fits the mood and scene, per and scene perfectly. Not to mention, at the end of the film, there is a nice remix of Kung Fu Fighting. That is a nice send-off that brings the series full circle from a goofy premise to a wonderful ending that brings Poe's journey to a satisfying conclusion. That is, until they make all those sequels, of course. In conclusion, regardless of all the sequel talk, Kung Fu Panda 3 is a great sequel and an ever-impressive franchise. Although it may not be my favorite in the series, which is two by the way, it is still a fantastic addition to the franchise and a film that I thoroughly enjoyed. And that is why I'm giving Kung Fu Panda 3 a 5 out of 5. So definitely check it out if you are a fan of the series and don't wait like I did because you will regret it. Seriously, I only saw this film, like I said, a few weeks ago and I'm ashamed I didn't go see it in theaters. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and check back in two weeks for my review of The Boss Baby. Also, if it's not your birthday today, have a very merry on the birthday. And until next time, guys, this has been Matthew Reviews, and that's my cue. Blah!